guys it's your girl tamara gi and we are back with another install you guys today we are working with west kiss hair and let me go ahead and show you guys their logo this is west kiss hair today and we are working with a another curly unit you guys i just feel like i've been in such curl like a curly mood lately like all the styles that i've been doing has been curly like this is like the third curly unit i did and i think this is like I think after this, I'm going to do some other textures, but I'm going to try to do something different with this. This is a curly unit that I'm working with, and it's 200 density, and it's a 13 by 4 um, frontal. I have some color to it, you guys. This is a burgundy, and it's already colored, and you guys see what the curls look like. This hair is so soft, you guys, and when I was washing it after I bleached it, I bleached the knots because I just wanted to have like a seamless, seamless type look. And that was really, really a good idea. Um, one thing that really stood out to me before I even started this install is the lace. I mean, the hair, the hairline. It's art. It's really pre plucked. Like some of these companies be like pre plucked, but the pre, it don't. It be barely pre plucked. Now this is a good example of pre plucked, and I'm gonna show you guys a picture right here because I did take a separate video of what it looks like on the mannequin head. So. That's pretty plucked, you guys, and I'm loving it. This is the Skin Guard by Erica J. Right. Guys, I didn't tell you guys this because I forgot, but I'm about to tell you guys now. So, earlier today, I was looking and I seen Arrogant Tay's Masterclass, and you guys know that, you know, it's all over YouTube and stuff, but I never really just sat down and just watched it. You guys, my skin is really, really going. <laughs> um, but I never just sat down and watched it, so I finally took the time out to watch his Masterclass, and I'm going to do some things that he did and see. Really, the only really thing I'm going to do is this process the way he did was he cut the lace like he didn't even like measure it to latoya's hairline like she he just cut the lace jaggedly but not too close to the ends and he cut it on like he cut the lace on like in his hand so i'm gonna go ahead and try to do that and we gonna see how this work out i'm gonna make a cut right here and like I said, I'm not gonna cut, I'm not gonna like make, I'm not gonna cut it all the way like, like too, too close, but I'ma just have it like jacket. Another thing that he did that I feel like that I wanted to try was he um he glued side by side. So he did he did one section and then he did the other section. So we're gonna do that instead of just doing the whole thing over. We're gonna do we're gonna start right here and then well we're gonna start right here and then here so we're gonna start right here and then right here and then we're gonna glue the wrist and then I'm using the bold hold extreme cream today and um I just wanted to use this all right you guys so as I'm putting this glue on you guys I don't know why this method right here this method it just works so much better because you guys know the last video that I did we had like a problem with the glue, you know, because I put the glue, like I put the hair a little bit too, like far behind the glue. So it was like glue on my forehead and stuff. So this method right here will help you proportion out your glue and just to make sure that you're putting 
everything where it needs to be. And then also right here, as you guys see that there is some place, like some of the lace was a little bit too long, like not long, but like the hair was a little bit too far down on my hairline. So if that happens, just go ahead and cut it off and you'll be fine. Okay, so as you guys can see, when I did cut it previously before, we didn't actually cut cut the hairline. So we do still have hair to cut even though we already laid down our lace and stuff. And I really like that I cut the lace before because now I only have to cut little parts off and it helps me a little bit more to get that you know seamless look when you're cutting and you know i always love using razors i don't like using scissors to cut my lace i've used scissors in the past but once i start using a razor a razor it just it just came out so much better and then with the ear tabs i've already told you guys this before but you know don't be afraid to just cut behind your ear and that just makes everything you know shape into your face just so much better and it makes it comfortable as well and then you guys are also going to see me going back and gluing some other parts because i would rather me have to go back and glue parts than me have to go back and try to take glue off my forehead so that's why for now on when i do my installs i'm going to put enough glue on the first time around and if i have to go back and put some more glue then i'll go ahead and do that because that's way better than having to clean up glue because once this glue dries on your forehead trying to go back and clean up alcohol and stuff that just messes up the whole thing and if you're doing your wig and you have a full face on if this happens this is going to mess up your like whole look so doing it this way was just so good and as you guys can see there was like hair like lace and stuff that I had to cut off my hairline and as you guys can see after I'm cutting it off it just blends seamlessly like this lace right here by West Kids it's HD lace and they did their thing because some of these companies be saying it's HD lace and they'll be giving HD lace vibe but West Kids hair always comes through like they always come through. All right, you guys, so honestly, I'm not gonna lie. At first I said I didn't like this method, but I really, really do now because this looks so clean and I don't have no freaking glue or nothing like, and then using small amounts is a good thing. See, that's why I always be researching. I always be looking for like new things to try because this is something I'm always going to do. 
So now what I'm doing is I'm going through and blow drying the hair because I am going to curl this hair. So I did use my blow dryer with the like brush on it so that I could just try to get it as straight as possible, you guys. This hair was not budging, you guys. Like these curls, these waves was trying to be seen. Like I was trying to get these curls out, like the waves, the waviness of the hair out, but it was it wasn't budging like i literally have to straighten the hair like two times to try to get it real real good so um that's a good thing though so i know for a fact that the hair is gonna come right back after i put water on it and stuff and i did put my hair in the middle part but we changed it as you guys are gonna see but i was just flattening out just to see what i want to do i'm gonna do another middle i'm gonna do a middle part soon i've been doing a lot of side parts lately but i'm gonna do a middle part soon but today was not the day that i did a middle part so i changed my hair to a side part as you guys can see and i'm just plucking out my lace a little bit and you guys even without the baby hairs, it looks so good. But you guys know I love my baby hairs, so I added just a little bit. But you guys aren't going to see me add the baby hairs because I did it off camera, like, really quick. It was just on one side. Like, I didn't do, like, no spectacular baby hairs. It's just regular. But, y'all, like, <laughs> this hair is laid. Like, it's laid, laid. Like, I was just so amazed looking in the mirror at how laid it is. And really, it's all about how you cut your lace. Like, really, how you cut your lace after you've glued your wig and stuff down is what your style is going to be you guys and i love this way that i did like just so much better
So you guys, those curls that I did before, like the only curls that really gave me life was the ones that I just took down. And I don't know if it's because I didn't hold them together, but I just went back and wand curled it because I don't know, the wand curl always looks really, really good on curly hair that you like blow dry and stuff. So I just wand curled the rest of my hair. And as you guys can see, I'm just like, just finishing up the wand curls. And I did curl the opposite side just so it can give like a, like a curls on the other side, if that makes sense, but yeah. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look after we did the wand curls. And I did like my little edges or whatever. I just did on this side. I don't have no edges on this side, but I really like the way this came out. It's cute. I love it. It's cute. Like, this whole look, it's me. And this color, it just matches me. Like, it's really, really cute. All the information for this hair will be down below, so make sure you guys check the description box. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's YouTube channel, and we'll be back with more videos soon. Stay blessed!